job, you guys. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's performance of Legally Blonde the Musical by the Milford High School Theater Workshop. We kindly ask that you please turn off all cell phones and electronic equipment as it interferes with our sound system. Please refrain from using flash photography as it is very distracting to our cast and pit members. Thank you, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's performance of Legally Blonde.
on China silk. Uh huh. But the thing is, you can't use a half of stitch on China silk. It'll pucker. And you did just get this in because I saw it in last May's book. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. I am not about to buy last year's dress at this year's price. You fell so right through that silk girl's line. It may be perfect for blonde, but I'm not that blonde. Senator, by the time I'm 30, I'm gonna need 
somebody a little more
those. What you want, but you just say it over word. But what you want, absurd. They must have no one's man. And how do I? But you can stay right here, pursue a film career. No, I can't. The East Coast is boring, there's no film studio. It's cold, dark, no valley parking. All the girls have different notes of price. But it's a damn frontier. Tell me what's out there that you No, and I say so. 
about love. You've ever been in love? Yes, if you have, you'll know that love never says a defeat. No challenge you can meet. No place it cannot go.
it's hard. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I think this is yours. What's comma L? Is this my social agenda? <laughs> no, your academic roster. Oh, right, there's that. Um, let's totally get you back to class. Who is she? My ex-girlfriend. All that pink you're wearing, is that even legal? <laughs> pink is my signature color, so I gather. All right, everyone, take your seats. Professor Guy, should be here at any moment. Three years ago, I was sitting right where you're sitting, and I swear I heard all the same rumors I'm sure you've heard too. Callahan's ruthless. He bathes in the blood of sheep. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Only partly true. What you really need to know is you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. Now, we won't choose a law career the moment you embark. There is that joke you're bound to hear a lawyer is a shark. Ignore that. It's simplistic and it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks. Just some. The rest are junk. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time you faced. Law school is a waste. Oh yes, unless you acquire a taste for blood in the water. Dark and red and raw. You're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes your only law. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question. Would you be willing to defend the following banker accused of fraud? A kind old grandma took her savings and she sent it. Off to your client, all she saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest, but he spent it on prostitutes and heroin and porn. No, I wouldn't want to take that case. Wrong! This one is a win unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke, she'll have some hat from the LA. Put her on the stand and call her old and crazy. The guy goes free and he gets you Look for the blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs. Well, more with the morally dubious jobs. Yes, blood in the water. Your scruples are awful. Miss Hoops, hypothetical question. Would you be the right lawyer for the following client? Say they offer you a bundle for defending. A famous hitman for the mafia elite. Seems he missed his chosen prey, killed a nun, drove away, running over three cute puppies in the street. What, you think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? <laughs> oh, you lesbians think you're so tough. Excuse me, what did you just say to me? Did you just call me? Oh dear, if you're my comment, has offended. Hard to argue, though, when you're too mad to speak. Your employment will be very quickly ended when they see how their emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I've run a billion dollars. You have guts, Ms. Woods. 
Ms. Kensington, let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School, a position that you're justly proud about, but a girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Should you let her go or? No, I throw her out. Oh. Hmm. Oh, but we're not actually here, 
corgis? Of course we do. Next Friday at 8, 243 Mass Ave. See you there. Thanks, Vivian. You are so far with my secret weapon costume.
Whoa, L. What's up, Doc? Love. What? They put my faith in love. They followed where it led. What led you here? To my personal circle of hell. It has not worked out well. Oh. 
card I can tell. Gosh, what is this, my third, fourth, seventh? I don't know, but I love it. Oh, God, all right. Now, define Madeline Prohibitum. Um, Madeline Prohibitum is... An act prohibited by... An act prohibited by law, like jaywalking or chewing gum in Singapore. Therefore, Madeline the Stag is... Is an action that's evil in itself. Assault, murder, white shoes, after Labor Day. Good. Um, where are you going? Thanksgiving break, remember? Interesting. What? Well, I predict you'll probably have Yes! In the bottom percent of your class. What? If you're going for mediocre, you've done great. That's not fair. And they laugh at me like they're laughing at you. We can't win if we don't fall.
Ms. Woods, you just won your case. Thank <laughs> you. 
Move. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I need the best and brightest. Congratulations to the chosen few. As for the rest of you, welcome to the middle. Emmett, I'm making you my co-counsel on the Wyndham trial. Prove yourself here, and the term associate isn't too far off. Uh, yes, yes, sir. For those chosen, I need you at 9 a.m. Monday morning, sharp. Make sure everyone dresses appropriately. Isn't so great? I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yes, score! Warner, we got the internship. What? It's just like we planned. Hey, this is just perfect. This is just the beginning. Make this the happiest day of my life. Warner, it's stunning. Marry me? Yes. All of this time I planned, I'd be patient, and you would love me again. <laughs> You've come to respect my mind, at last you find you could love me again.
can you be everything to me? If I tell you, will you double new sister swear not to tell anyone? Oh, I double dealt a new sister swear. Oh, you're hardcore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On the day of my husband's murder, I was getting what? I, I was getting broke. You're gonna hurt to speak. Liposuction. Minimally invasive outpatient lipo. What lipo? Oh my god. Miss Window. I had Time's to. Up. I had to do it as the race car. Jesus, jumping up on my ass. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. My fans are counting on me, Elle. I can't let them down. You have to protect me. You swore. Oh, Al, well, there you are. Where's Brooke? The guard took her back. Great. But I got her out on. You're kidding! So what is it? I'm afraid I can't tell you. <laughs> Why not? You double dealt to new sister swore not to. Elle, this isn't some little sorority thing. Oh, I know, it's a big sorority thing. <laughs> but listen, Brooke really had nothing to do with this. Think about it. Brooke is a fitness queen. Exercise gives you endorphins, endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't kill. <laughs> Emmett, a word. Are you serious? If you don't give up this alibi, we'll all lose the case. Then I guess we're not very good lawyers. Oh, well, you stop being such a Marilyn elf. Listen, Callahan wants that alibi. If you give it to him, you can sail through law school knowing there's a big fat job offering for you when you get out. But I gave Brooke my word. So what? Who cares? Who cares? Emmett, I gave you very simple instructions. Lead this legal team and get me an alibi. You are zero for two. That's it, everyone. Field trip is over. Let's get back to work. Except for you two. I'd rather not see Ratty Corduroy or Legally Blonde again today. Emmett, I'm sorry. I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to give me the alibi. You can't because I gave Brooke my word. Look. Having an alibi isn't the only way to win this case. No, but it sure would help. Work with me. We'll free Brooke the right way, the noble way. This is not a Lifetime original movie, Elle. I'm not interested in nobility right now. I'm more interested in saving Brooke's life. <laughs> no. You're more interested in pressing Callahan. He is my boss. If I impress him, he'll make me associate. By jeopardizing your client's trust in our integrity. <sighs> Put it that way. <laughs> Exactly, you butthead. My word means something, and I know yours does too. No one's called me butthead since the third grade. We be not to your face. <laughs> Look, if you want to impress Callahan, I can help. Okay, how? Look, I love your scruffy vibe, but Casual Friday is so not Callahan's vocabulary. <laughs> Gotta dress the part if you want to get ahead. Now, hasn't your mother ever taught you about not judging a book by its cover? Yeah, but I also know books with tacky covers stay on the shelf. Thanks. For what? I mean, this isn't a perfect world. Think I wasn't judged my whole life? Think it wasn't a good idea to make Navy my new pink? No, that was a good idea. I know. Um, where are we going exactly? <laughs> you trust me, don't you? Of course. And don't stop now.
but it's just me. That's the best part. The outside is new. The reality reflects what's already in you.
but it also has real world applications. The pen and snap is 99.9% .9 effective on straight men. Oh, good, because I've got such a great track record with those. <laughs> I see the problem here, and it's not physical. It's spiritual. Paulette just needs a little spirit. Oh my god, oh my god, and Serena knows about spirit because she is the UCLA cheer team leader. Yeah!
Give me a chance to crack this guy. I have an idea, let me try. The floor is yours. So, Mr. Argentacos, this alleged affair with Miss Wyndham went on for? Two years. And your first name is? Nicholas. And your boyfriend's name is? God. Oh, understand. I hear you say boyfriend. I thought you say yes.
Intern of the Year. He's wrong. We'll fix this. We'll fight this. Evan, please. There's no reason for me to stay. What about love? I never mentioned love. The timing's bad, I know. But perhaps if I'd made it more clear that you belong right here, you wouldn't have to go. Cause you know that I'm so much on your side. Back to the shore, back to what I was before. Please, when you open the door. on the beach, dream within a reach. Go straight me
there anyway. Right.
Thank you. Now, Miss Winter, on the day of the murder, you claim you got a perm. Was this your first perm? No. I've permed my hair since junior high, about three. Interesting. My associate, Miss Enid Hoops, has just gotten a perm herself today. Thank you, Miss Bonfire. Now, would Exhibit B's perm be similar to your own? Duh! And now, one more time for the jury. You didn't see the murder or hear the gunshot because you were aware? In the shower! Thank you. Now, Miss Hoops, will you step into the shower, please?
give me 